Porto, Porto de Ka, and I'm going to show you tonight a little tutorial about um, how to create a wrapper using wine skin. Well, first of all, what is wine? Well, you can read everything about that on winehq.org about. Um, simply it is that um, you can use wine, it's a source code, to get your Windows game run on your Mac using this this source code. It's creating a kind of folder, bottle, or whatever you can call it, a section um, or app where um, the Windows DLLs, uh, fake Windows DLLs, and well, source code is installed, um, which makes it possible to run your game on your Mac, run your Windows game on your Mac. Well, this is simply a short description about Wine. Um, I'm going to show you um, the program which I use, and it's Wine Skin. And this means it's, that's the skin around this Wine source code. You can get that from wineskin.urgesoftware.com. And um, you can, on downloads, you can download Wine Skin Winery. So what you can do is just download it, click on the, the download button. Now you can save it. Well, there it is. <coughs> and you will see here, Winesky Winery. And that's the program you can use to create a wrapper. How to do that? Just double click it. And there you see Wineski Winery. In your situation, there will be no engine installed, but it will ask you to click the update button. I use still Wine 2.5.8, so I don't update. But in your case, you can just update. And then you need to add engines because it's all about engines and these are all the wine versions and um, if you click the plus button you can find here all the engines which you can download and use so click on the wished engine most likely the newest ones but it may happen that um, some games need an older one to get the game run properly, but it's through experience you learn what to use. So in your, well, opinion, or in your case, you will use the latest one. Then you click on uh, uh, download and install. You click on OK. It will download and install the, the engine. And this will install the engine on your list, which you saw just a moment ago. And um, from that time on, you will you will be able to create wrappers with this engine. Installation takes a little bit here at the moment. Most of the time for me it's whoop. But um, I think it's also the time zone at the moment that uh, America most of you guys, the visitors on my sites are uh, Americans. Um, this is the time where most Americans are active. So that's why most likely it's also some slower. So um, we'll wait a little bit. Download it will appear now in your Wineskin Winery installed engines list. As you can see here, then you can create new blank wrapper to create the blank wrapper. Click on it, make a nice name like uh, Wine Skin Wrapper. Click on OK. I already made a Wine Skin Wrapper, but um, this one will be of the, the well, this you get Mono Installer. I won't install that. I just click cancel. Done. And at the end, it will say yeah, that it is finished. 
view wrapper in Finder, and then move the wrapper to the desktop like this. Or do it in another folder which you want. And then um, you can uh, use the wrapper for installing games. Click on the Windows software, just executable, navigate to the specific game that you want to install, and then, uh, yep, you can install your game in it. Remember that this is just the basis. If you install a game in it, it won't work straight away. It might work, of course, or work with flaws, but from then on, you need to fine tune the wrapper. Um, even so, Still, not every game works uh, in uh, white skin. Um, quite a dozen does, but um, also loads need some adjustments and some uh, some uh, tweaking. And to find out how to um, what the game needs, you need to uh, to do the the test run, which I showed you in another video. And um, from there on, you can fine tune the wrapper. But this is the basics about how to create a wrapper in Wineskin. Thank you for watching, and see you back on Portal Cat.